I'm Carla Hidalgo Gato with Montgomery County Fire Rescue, and I'm a firefighter here. Come on in. We run everything from a broken toe to a building on fire. This is the watch office where our calls come in, and we do all of our, all of our reporting. Hi, it's Carla at 22. How are you? About 85% of the calls that we run are EMS calls, which is medical, and the other 15% or so are fire calls. This is our training room and conference room. We have our lineup board, which is all the, the riding positions and what equipment we're all responsible for. This is our kitchen and dining room. Um, we generally cook together as a shift, and, and uh, especially for dinner. We have dinner together. We all sleep in the same room. Um, it's, I've been doing this for 25 years and I've um, slept in open bunk rooms. Almost every firehouse in Montgomery County has an open bunk room. All the people I've ever worked with, it's been a very pleasant experience. As a firefighter, I knew that it would be harder as a woman just because it was a man's world. I, I think that men come into this uh, line of work with and they're given a certain amount of respect and expectations and as a woman I feel like maybe we need to earn that but I, I have found that once I had it it, I, it wasn't so easy to lose it. Uh, my mom thought I had, was, had lost my mind she thought I was crazy. There, there's never been a firefighter in our family much less a woman firefighter. So this is the Nomex hood that we put on to protect our head. We keep our boots already inside of our pants so that we can put our pants and boots on quickly. The coat, it's several layers. And last but not least, our helmet. I enjoy driving all of the equipment. It's probably the funnest thing there is to do on the planet. They do a lot of recruiting of females and it just doesn't always work out. I think it's a misconception. Maybe they're not sure exactly what we do. Um, it, maybe it's just not a career path that any woman in their family has ever taken. Um, they don't perhaps know any women firefighters. You know, it, it could be any number of things. I think we have so much to contribute. Um, I think we enhance and enrich the department and the job that's being done. We bring a different perspective. We approach situations from a completely different angle. Anytime you've got six people in a room, just having a different perspective could make a difference in the outcome of the situation.